Oh my God, simping is running rampant. Like, you don't want to talk to me when I called you yesterday and I called you 50 million times and, and like, you just ignore all that. It's a, it's a simp breakout. You know when I called you, like, nights ago when you were at some apartment and I watched your fucking location? If I recall, DJ Academics is one of the kings of calling other people simp. If any time I ever was doing bad and you called me... You got to maintain the respect for yourself because if you don't, she won't. I fucking ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you. That's where all of it stems from, the fact that you were so willing the second you, you, she was calling, you ran. Because wow. you're saying your connection with me is more important than mine. You love her more than you love yourself. Answer me and talk to me. Where did this go wrong? I sent a flight. Just tell me the truth. You owe me that at least. But your text messages to a girl should never look all black with one blue. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Yeah, 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 yeah. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolutions being podcasted, and I am excited. Harry, what's popping with you? You good? Oh, uh, Dante, you know me. I'm living the life trying to, just trying to keep these gators down and having a tough time doing it, man. I'll tell you who's, who I'm having a better week than is uh, oh. DJ Academics. Oh, my God. Simping is running rampant on oh the Oh, my goodness. Just is simping it. it. It's, a, it's a simp breakout. There's a lot more simping than I thought. We were, we were always worried about player hating. We weren't thinking about the simping, Dante. That's oh, the problem. Oh. They, they said to get vaccinated. They said it to get your pimping vaccination. Nobody wanted to do it. The sound is there's a simp breakout on the internet. It's going crazy. I think it's 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 gigabytes of simping around. It's, it's crazy. So and you know it's always the anti simpers that end up simping. Because if I recall, DJ Academics is one of the kings of calling other people simps. Am I wrong on this, Dante? Rich pimping, rich pimping, balling, big dog calling, shot calling. You heard me. Uh, and he was, what's funny is that he actually was, you know, we just did the video about um, about Fresh and his little simp uh, escapade. He had a simp breakout. And then, uh, and he, and academics was the one calling him out. He was like, what, what size? Oh, my girl loves me for me. What, what size yacht did you meet her on? A 40 or a 60 foot, you know? Mm. But then wow. it, it, you always get it. The, what don't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse, player. This is, this is why truth is so important. And that's why we do the show. I guess it takes one to know one, too. That's the other thing in hindsight is he was so ready to call him a simp because he knew all the symptoms. Yeah. Oh, is no that pun what? intended. Symptoms. I get it. I get it. Sim I got it. Symptoms. Symptoms. Uh, that's what we gotta figure how that's spelled. I gotta. I gotta. Um. I gotta. Uh. uh we, you know, we were kind of going in on fresh, and uh, all. I mean, I don't, actually, I don't think we were going in. We were actually uh, feeling sorry for him because of the fact that you put on this facade, you get exposed. One of the things that we say on 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 this podcast, all of Command School Two Hundred Two, we always say. Everybody gets got. Mm. I don't care who you are. I mean, Brad Pitt got got from Angelina Jolie. Yeah. What? Absolutely. Angelina Jolie got got from Billy Bob Thornton. Mm. How's that happen? It's crazy. It's Everybody a, gets got. It doesn't matter. World. It's dogs and cats having sex with each other. <laughs> frogs and fro who eats frogs? Frogs and snakes. The French. The having, French, I believe. French, the French. I don't know. Yeah, I believe. I don't know. Based on cartoons, I don't know. Everything I know about the French, I base on cartoons, which means they're aggressive with women and smelly. But that's so just want, based. You wanna, you wanna, um, you wanna hit the video? Or you yeah, let's share. Let's let's share. Let's, share. let's show these people uh, a little bit yeah. of this video here about uh, DJ Academics. Uh, hold on one second. Let me make sure I can share the sound with you. Uh, one second. One second. Let's make sure we got the sound going. I mean, and blow that up. We are cut. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Um, share sound. There we go. Oh, they changed the layout of this whole thing. <laughs> and hold on, and let's uh make this large. I don't know if you could see it. You can you see that done. Yeah, yeah. But blow it all the way up so we don't. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to give a uh, who made this video, by the way. Let's give a shout out to that because otherwise, yeah. Uh, uh, Kyx Limitless. 
Shout out channel. to Kay Weatherly. Good, good video, bro. Check that out. We'll, we'll put that video I'm in. I'm going to subscribe to them, which you should subscribe to us, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and we'll put him in, we'll put his video in the, uh, in the, uh, let me show him that. You know what I mean? In the description. Sure, sure. Yeah. So somehow DJ Academics has the addiction to this girl named Cyan. And no matter what she does to him, he will not leave this girl. So I don't know if DJ Academics got a thing where he loves getting humiliated. Or this girl got some type of big secret over him. So the girl Cheyenne, she goes by Shy Glizzy on Instagram. Went ahead and leaked phone calls. But uh, so here's the screen grab of the. She's so she is so over this guy now. I guess there's she's done with him, uh, and she has started releasing text messages that he sent her. Isn't a Glizzy a dick? I'm an old man, but isn't a Glizzy's? Last last my understanding was that it is a dick. A glizzy. Yeah, it's a glizzy. Hold on. Let me look up Urban Dictionary Glizzy because that's her screen name, right? Yeah, hot shy glizzy. Come shy on. Shy glizzy. You gotta you gotta be like Sherlock Holmes. You gotta figure this out. Okay, Urban Dictionary Glizzy. A glizzy, another word for hot dog, uh yeah, is a glizzy. A glizzy but then, hot dog. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, another word for hot dogs, uh Pops wasted no time to throat that glizzy. He real glizzy gladiator. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, glizzy. yo, fuck their life! <laughs> glizzy gladiator. Hey, yo! Hey, yo. Um, glizzy. I th- uh, glizzy. Okay, it's a hot dog, but we don't know. It's a fucking hot dog. If it's you need dick. the glizzy. Be like, you be eating the glizzy, you be- <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you're Glizzy, saying this. I've heard take Glizzy's to the face. If y'all don't, if I'm wrong, put it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it a Glizzy a dick? Take Glizzy's to your face. Oh, my God. Uh, all that wrong. Take it in the face. <laughs> much like a Frankfurter. This is a different article. Uh, Wiener, Frank, Link, and Footlong. A Glizzy is just another word for a hot dog. The phrase isn't as aged as some of the other ones. It gained popularity in the early 2020s, though the term was used in D.C. before that. Why is a hot dog called a glizzy? With roots in the rap world, a glizzy is slang for a Glock handgun. The evolution of the word uh, to include hot dog comes from an extended magazine or pistol, which is about the length of a hot dog. Yeah, but the glizzies is taking but, it in the face. Kind of. Yeah. All right. Let's. We all know what a glizzy is now. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Uh, if we're wrong here. So here is here is all the text messages that she uh, shy glizzy has revealed from from DJ academics. And it's uh, here is he right. I literally have done so much for you. This is all him. Yeah. How could you do this? I want to hear your voice. Answer me and talk to me. Where did this go wrong? I sent a flight. Just tell me the truth. You owe me that at least. You've been at this, uh, I can't say that word. You've been at this end's apartment all day. You really just done with me? Get on the flight, okay? And then she writes, after all that, she writes, you're you're a clown, just leave me alone. You're spelled Y-O-U-R, but we'll you know move on from that. You're a clown. And don't be correcting Shy Glizzy's. You're right, I'm sorry. You're right, it's not fair of me. It's she can spell it any way she wants. Yeah, I want to. I want to show you this, Dante, because this is the. Uh, I want to show you the full. Ver- Look at how much he's texting. Uh, oh, they don't have time. I wish we had timestamps on that. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. It's so close together that it don't have timestamps. That's great. Yeah, she what writes that? back. You're a clown. I'm answering. I'm saying something. Answer for two minutes. I literally just please this. Answer for two minutes, and I won't call. Like I mean, just. Is there any more? Is there any more? Yeah, there is more. Hold on. There's more. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. I mean, she released these on Instagram. Now, I want to I wanna say, point out, I want your text messages to a girl should never look all black with one blue. Oh wow, look at it, no. Call. And now these are the these are the uh, the the calls. I guess she blocked his number or something or something because yeah, yeah. he's yeah. got a no caller ID, like unknown number. So he's calling her from a no. Uh, he's blocking his number so she don't know that he's calling. Uh, keep it, you know. Stop calling me. 
crying then telling people I'm crazy when you would delete yourself over me, which I guess uh, we can't say that word on YouTube, but you on know live. What the, on live. live. Yeah. yeah. And she posts, I mean, she's just releasing all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's just crazy. That's, that's just a crazy lady. son. And she, I know that she has a beautiful baby hair, Harry, that you love. Oh, so. my God. I don't, yeah, she, I don't love baby hair. Jesus. <laughs> That's not even the full baby hair, though. She has a little bit. I wouldn't even a count little, that as baby hair. A little hair. baby hair and a nice, a nice lace front, my dude. I don't mind the lace front. The nails, I can, the nails are not great. Or let's see what else. You don't get to choose. I they, guess not. But BBL, eyelashes, long ass nails, baby hair, and lace front. Wait, you, I have to pick which you, one. No, no, you don't get to cherry pick. Wait, oh, I have to take the oh, whole thing. It all comes. It's not a la carte. Package deal. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, there's they're very much synonymous. It's a whole package now. What do they it's call whole... it? Tapas. Spanish. Tapas. No, tapas is I could pick and choose the little bit. This is uh. I, I, it's no tapas. No tapas. Oh, no tapas. Yeah, no tapas. Yeah. No a la carte. I'm just stuck Look, with all of it. There's no substitutions all of that i mean this is this is the text messages thing like look this is clearly over right yeah. this is done you when you're in a situation and you're looking at that and, and a woman's not responding to you it's done and the the you're not going to get her back by begging her to call you and text that all that makes you look is like Maybe, weak and sad. what about if her name wasn't shy glizzy could you beg no it doesn't matter whether the glizzy or no glizzies it doesn't matter I, what if her name was uh, Donna No Glizzy? Oh, boy. It doesn't, I mean, no, 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 it doesn't matter, Dante. It could be Queen Elizabeth. It could be, it could be Jennifer Lopez. Once, what once she's not Queen Lizzie. Queen Lizzie. Queen Lizzie? Oh, man. <laughs> I fucks with Queen Lizzie. I'm not going to lie to you. I'd fuck with Queen Lizzie. I fucks with Lizzie Borden. Oh, boy. That goes, that's a deep cut. You go to deep. He <laughs> gave her father 40 wax. <laughs> I mean, and but. <laughs> here's the thing here's the bottom line with this first of all your text messages should never look like that where it's all black or all, or all of you and then her response is yo beat it clown you in you, any situation eight, though. 10 12 times how many times did the game you know 10 12 times and then she goes you're a clown and then he keeps what going up? he doesn't stop even after that like you have no it, dignity because it's it's a feeling of it's there's a and like look, don't get me wrong, Doug. I've been there. I, I don't I'm not trying to say I'm mean, we making light of it, but I've been there, dude. I've been there where like I was younger and I was just like frantic and it and it almost become it almost feels manic in nature. Do you know what I mean? It it literally becomes manic in nature where it's like I just I just want a response. If I could just get a response, if I could just talk to her if i could just speak to her for a minute there's some there's got to be something i can say that kind of emotional pain yeah. and also what happens is when you plan that yo i'm saying i'm good yo these yo these are what do you go 504 80 what is it 804 whatever it doesn't matter uh, 405 come 405 these 405 bitches is in the put that in i'm not sure if it's 405 or 804 whatever yo, well, how, yeah um, 5150s, whatever it is. Shout out to, to Corey Holcomb. Um <laughs> the uh you you you, yeah. you Mr. 30, you mean 305? Yeah, yeah, I guess 305. 305 right? is the Miami area code, which it's is maybe what he's talking about. Yeah. So what, what it is is you want this, you want this, this like you're you're frantic. You you always playing it. This is why you don't play the game. All war games, at war games, shout out to Patrice O'Neill. Uh, it goes. He used to say there was an old uh, old movie called War Games, and the, the 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 computer takes over. And he says the only way to win is to not play the game. That's a good clip we could put in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the uh, the the reason is why you got to be honest about it, and you got to be honest, and you got to be respectful, and even know that you have these feelings. This is why you don't let emotions have a seat at the table. I say this all the time. You got to step back. And see, if she's not willing to talk to me, think about this. If she's already dismissed me and I continue to come pursue and pursue and I'm texting, I'm frantic, is that going to make the situation better? You got, if, I mean, if, let, let's think about if we don't, if we're not looking at the objective, what is the objective that we're trying to achieve? He, he loves I guess to get her back. Yeah. Wants to get her back. 
But you got to, you, if you're frantic and you're in this kind of manic mode, you're willing to do anything. I'll do anything. But listen, when you're willing to do anything, put your, this, you know, it's amazing how we've been doing this podcast for so long that the, that the, um, the lessons, the principles, the principles, principles are so crystallized. They've, they've been, you know, and, 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 you know, even back to when we talk about the stuff that we were talking about with Patrice and where we had all these other things, like I get so tired of I me. Mean, every time I go on a live, I got to talk about Patrice. And what you don't understand is we, we have moved this, this dialogue further because it, things are so crystallized in a way where you don't let emotion have it. Here's the two principles. Never let emotion have a seat at the table. Right. And mm. put yourself first. Right. Put your happiness first Put because happiness if you first. don't, she won't. If you don't, she won't. So ultimately what you're saying, what, what is the subtext of this conversation? The subtext is, I love you so much. I will do anything. I'll send you a ticket. I don't care. Just talk to me. Please, please, please. Now, I'm quite sure she's angry, right? I'm mm -hmm. quite sure. Who knows what he did or what he, what he didn't do? Uh, maybe he didn't give her enough glizzy. I don't know what mm -hmm. happened. But here's the thing. She's angry. But your response to her anger is not to leave her alone and say, look, and this, this behavior is not, this is not reasonable be behavior. It doesn't match up. And also, even if, even if you don't mind the anger, because clearly he doesn't mind the anger, the fact that she's calling him a clown. She calls him a clown. He don't have a problem with her calling him. He's just like, I don't care what you call me. Just please. Talk to me. So what happens? What you're doing is you're you're confirming the fact that she has made a move and, and said that you're not worth it anymore. Hmm. And every time you text, she's more and more and more and more and more sure that she made the right decision. Because you, how does a woman, here's another principle, how does a woman know what your value is. You tell her. Not verbally, because when you're going, yeah, I'm all good. You know what I'm saying? I do what it do. Bah, 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 bah. Yo, my Lamborghini. Yo, I keep, I'm six figure. <laughs> when you're saying all that, chicks ain't listening to that. They hear it, but they're not listening to it. Yeah. That, well, it's it's you show somebody who you are, but this is the problem with this situation. You don't tell them. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, you you show them. You show them. You show them what you do. But the problem is, this is so far gone because this is not the first time something like this happened. Oh, yeah. There are little red flags along their way. The the fact that she feels okay calling him a clown just in general yeah. is because she has said nasty things to, to him before and when they've gotten in a fight, and he never corrected it. It all will go this way if you don't put a stop to this and put your happiness first. And whatever your non-negotiables are, don't negotiate them, as we, as we say around. on the show. Slip it around. Some chick that you don't like, you smashed, you don't really care about it. Maybe she's not as attractive as you would like or whatever. She calls you. You smashed and dashed. You're really not into it. And she calls you. And she calls you again. And she calls you again. And she calls you again. At what point do you go, oh, wow, this is the 17th call. You know what? I really want to speak to somebody who's called me 17 times. Whenever in the history of, of anybody who's listening to this has that been happened, people care about the things value is based on the, the accessibility. Meanwhile, you're not looking at all the things. What kind of person is this who would just put your shit out there yeah. on Instagram? Why would you want to be with a person who is so, even after you're done, is so spiteful that they would put your information out on Instagram? It that just doesn't hit, cross your mind. It just hit me. What if she would have said, yo, he would have said, yo, I'm going to send you a ticket. Um, Come out. Let's talk about it. And she didn't answer. And, he, and she didn't answer. And she had one text. Yo, send me out. If 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 the internet had got a hold of the one text of him going, yo, you want to talk about this? I'll send you a ticket. Right. That wouldn't have looked bad at all. It wouldn't that have wouldn't looked like, bad oh, at all. He hollered at her. She didn't go. He moved on. He moved nobody, on. 
nobody would that would have been no the the point of the em embarrassment the point of the simping is the magnitude of this the fact that this guy is literally this guy who's a millionaire is going i can't live without giving cuz first of all let's be honest she brings nothing to the table she's attractive she lets him hit but i say this all the time there's never a situation. Women, women get crazy. They get crazy about this idea. Well, I give you my body. Yeah, and I give you my dick. And, and I've said this a hundred times. I've never, ever, maybe once. But I'm saying overall, I've never met a girl who, who Fs me. What happened, Harry? No, there I am. I'm there. I, somebody who Fs me longer than I F them. Make sense? Like, I've yeah. never had... I've never had a girl get on top and rock out for longer than I'm on top. I want to play this audio here because she now yeah. released also not just the text on. Oh, I didn't hear the audio. You didn't hear the audio? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I buried the lead here. Uh, we're going to play. Let's play the audio because this is even more embarrassing. Why you won't come to me. You know, I've been like, begging you to come. You know, I've been literally just like upset, hurt, damaged over you and like. You just ignore all that, and then you're like, oh, no, the, yeah, the reason why I don't do that is because you got to miss it. That's gaslighting. So, you know, like, you don't want to talk to me. When I called you yesterday, and I called you 50 million times, and you finally answered, because, like, you're the whatever guy you're with, the probably said, damn, why you the phone keep blowing up? You know what you fucking look at me and say? Nigga, stop talking to me. I'm going on a fucking day. You know when I called you, like, nights ago? When you were at some nigga's apartment and nigga, I watched your fucking location. You, 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 you know what I was even thinking? I'm like, bro, if any time I ever was doing bad and you called me, nigga, I fucking ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you. Okay. So a couple things, wait, as we as we get through this audio here. Uh number one, how many time how many ways does she have to tell you she's not interested anymore? Just in general. Like, how many times do you have to be told, it's done? I have no interest. The, the amount of disrespect, like, how much before you go? What is it going to take for this dude to be like, yeah, I think she, it's not going to work. It's not going to work a, out. I got a new principle. What is that? Uh, closure is for bitches. Mm. Closure today. We're unveiling this. Still, The ink is still wet on this. Oh, wow. This is, We're seeing this in real time because this is the, the first real, time I'm hearing this. Closure is for bitches. Now, I've said this. We've talked about this before. Sure. What you have to do, honesty, it, it still goes back. I'm saying it in closure, but it really goes back to authenticity, telling the truth. Somebody is not picking up the phone. Why do you not? Why? If you, if you, if it was you, and somebody's not picking up the, if you're not picking up the phone, it's because you don't want to talk to them. Even if you're doing something else, what you have decided is whatever I'm doing is more important than picking up the phone for you. There's no, there's only two explanations why you call somebody in a technical age where you can reach somebody. And when you can reach somebody at any point in time, and even if you can't reach them, Right. Say if somebody's at work or whatever, like sometimes I'll call Harry, he'll be out, he'll be doing his thing and I'll hit him. But he will grab his phone. Bah, 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 bah. I'm at work. I'll hit you back. Sure. The text. Hey, can I call you back a little bit later at work? And not whatever. even that. Yo, hit you back. Hit you back. I get it. At work, hit you back. Yeah. Because it's, it's a certain level of respect that we have for each other. Sure. And I understand we don't we're not in a relationship, but that's even more so the point in a relationship. You have to maintain a level of 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 respect for yourself. And if you don't, you're telling her that you're not worthy of respect. This behavior is unworthy of your, you're, you're unworthy of my respect. When somebody's not calling you, it's because they don't want to talk to you. If you ask somebody out for a date and you're supposed to go on a date and she don't show up or she doesn't call or confirm, it's because she don't care. Think about this. If Brad, if, 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 if Drake, Call some chick, yo, I'm a holler, yo, let me holler at you on soon. Yo, like, it's Drake, just yo, via text. Yo, it's Drake. Yo, Drake, you're going to be like, boop, 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 boop. hey, Drake, what's up, Leo? Yo, in the studio. Oh, no, I'm not busy. What's going on? No, nah, it's all right. My mom's, uh, my mom's, my mom's already dead. It's fine. She ain't going nowhere. It's what's going funny. on? I've been, I've been in the bed smashing somebody, right? And I knew she had a dude, some crazy, you know, 
gunman dude or whatever, some violent dude, mm. and the dude would call, and she would be like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I still, I still be inside her. And she'd be like, hold on, pass me my phone. You know, this nigga crazy, right? And she was like, hey, babe. Well, she's like, you, you, you sound, you sound like you were you working out? No, no. I was just, I was just doing my my yoga. I was doing Taibo. Oh boy. <laughs> and I now we know the time frame. I like that you give indications. Yeah, Taibo, that's I was what? just doing Taibo to get ready for the Bell Biv DeVoe concert. Don't worry. <laughs> I can't wait to hear poison again in yeah. live. Um <laughs> And I, because I knew what the game was, we understood what the game was. I would be like, shh. I would just, I would hump slow. Like, <laughs> and she would go, stop it. <laughs> the game is what the game is. Truth is what the truth is. You have to be honest with yourself about the nature of these relationships. If you're not, you're going to end up in this situation. And, and I don't get me wrong. Let me say this. We, I'm making light of this. But I know this dude is in pain. Hmm. I, as much, I mean, and, and I don't know him personally. I've never met him. But he seems kind of like an asshole. But it's like. Well, he, he was on Fresh and Fit. He's part of that crew. And we that, that crew has done nothing but give out frivolous relation. I mean, we've been talking about this for years at this point with these yeah. guys. Yeah. We go, these guys are fraudulent. They're not really who they say they are. They talk a lot of shit. And then when push comes to shove. They end up doing some some bitch ass stuff. They just do. They just end up. They just end up proving that they're fraudulent. They have no idea what they're talking about, and they're not in control of any aspect of a relationship, and should not be giving other people relationship and dating advice. Period. I, the problem I have with it, it's this. I get it. Look, I get the hustle, but dog, I just I don't see how you do that and maintain any integrity, any credibility, which you is can't by the ace when you know that you're not that dude. At least become that dude and then and then start advocating or at least uh, at least say, listen. Just like I'm saying, I've been in that position where I was texting crate. Ah, 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 yo, pick up the phone. Yo, what's wrong with you? I'm, yo, I'm calling you. I'm calling it. I've been in that situation. You have. But you weren't when you were in that situation, you weren't giving out relationship advice to other people, telling people was, they got to control my, their women. I was in my I was 19, 20 years yeah. old. And 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 I and even if I happened afterwards, I wasn't given the point is it's not even a matter of that, but it's 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 I, I'm gonna just say this to academics, you listening, dog, you gotta understand it is what it is. You gotta be honest with yourself. If somebody don't want you, you wanting them more is first of all, it's it it, it lacks credibility, it, it lacks authenticity because of the fact that you know. Just by her resistance, the fact that she's pulling away. Secondly, it lacks you. You diminish your credibility because now you have said that I will do anything. That my value is not what your value is. And thirdly, your empathy is that you don't even care if you really have empathy about her happiness, and she it doesn't want to be with you, and something else makes her happy, right? Yeah, you don't care. Then You're being selfish. You gotta you have the you want. empathy to say. I get it. I wish it was different, but bomb. And here's one part that I want to play that lets you know where all the problems stem from right here. You know, I was even thinking, I'm like, bro, if any time I ever was doing bad and you called me, nigga, I fucking ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you. Just to be like, baby, come on, you know, I love you. Like that's And that's where all the problems stem from right there is the fact that you, the fact that's where all of it stems from, the fact that you were so willing the second you, you, she was calling, you ran. Because you're saying you, your connection with me is more important than my. You love her more than you love yourself, or whatever that whatever's going on, whether it's work, whether it's personal life, whatever it is, it was not as important as you are. And I will drop everything, uh, whether it's important or not, just to talk to you. And that's where the problems are. He says anytime, anytime, anytime. That was the case. Um, and she didn't appreciate that. Definitely. I can oh, tell well, what she, it was. She's not only going to not appreciate it, but she's going to disrespect it. You could tell she's young. Her name is Shot Glizzy. Like, come on. I mean, how, you know, how deep do you think her thinking is? Mm. You know, her deep, her, her thinking is about as deep as a rain puddle. So yeah. it is like, I get it. But here's I don't I, know that. The, I mean, we're going to see a lot of her doing cancer research uh, with <laughs> Dr. Shy Glizzy, but whatever. I mean, maybe she maybe she could prove me wrong. I don't know.
No, she's not going to tell you why the string theory doesn't work. That's, she's not going to tell you that. But I, here's what I want to say. It's fucked up. It's, I mean, in a way, we're making light of it. But, man, I feel sorry for dude. I really feel sorry for dude. The problem, the, what makes you not feel sorry for him is the bravado that you that, that you kicked, that you this, you that, you the other. Just say what you are, dog. I get it. I get it. You got money. You're young. This is the, you, you think the world, but you know it's not. You got to really work on the basis, on the basic level of who you are, what you are, and then know here's the two things. Here's the Uber, the Uber analogy. You got whenever you take an Uber, you need two things. You need to know what your current location is, and you need to know what your destination is. Those are two things that you have to know. So if you're in a situation and you're spit, you're spitting it like you this pimp and you you ice cold, you ice water runs through your veins, and you that dude, and you not, right? You don't know what your current location is. And if your destination is to find a beautiful girl that loves you and respects you and stuff, that's not what your destiny. You, you're not saying you're saying, yo, I'm smashing these bitches, keeping it moving. Bah, 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 bah. That's not really who you are, dude. No. Minute, no. remember what he said? The minute, the minute you call me, I I run out of wherever just to hear your voice and to tell you I love you. Have it just to tell you. I love you. It's not bad. To tell you, to tell you, I love you. I just uh, I run out my grandmother's funeral. Uh, I was in the middle of giving my grandmother CPR, and you call. I was like, Grandma, hold on. I know you're dying, but I gotta get. I gotta call her because I love you. Yeah. And look, there's nothing wrong with loving a woman and going, Oh, she's calling. Let me. I want. I want to talk to her. Everybody but- gets. But the problem is you have to, you, you can't just run every time she calls you. You got to maintain the respect for yourself because if you don't, she won't. Like, like I'm trying, like you stayed there till 7 p.m. It just told me, it was like, bro, you have this woman, she doesn't give a fuck about you. You got to get over this shit because she's going on with her life. She wouldn't do these things to you. You're calling her. She doesn't even care to explain. She doesn't even care to whatever. My nigga, you were talking to her. You know what he's doing? What's that? This is the uh, five, uh, the three stages of manipulation that you talk about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this yeah. is exactly the three stages of manipulation, which is yeah, uh, anger. Anger. S- I'm mad at you. Bitch, pick up the phone. You won't hear me. Call. How you going? Second of all, how could you do this to me? All that I've done for you. Da, 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 da. And then. My man's and them, they telling me, yo, she she don't know sympathy. sympathy. And then when it doesn't respond, when you so it's anger. And and this happens. The women do this to guys also. This is usually something you see from women. Yeah. And he is inside. He's so not an alpha male. Losing. He is so the opposite of an alpha male that he is behaving the way a woman would behave with with a, with a relationship falling apart. Yeah. And he so he goes anger. Uh, second is guilt, third is sympathy, and then when you fail to empathize with my sympathy, then I'm angry again. And then it goes around in a circle. Anger, guilt, sympathy. Anger, guilt, sympathy. Anger, guilt, sympathy. Yo, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Don't forget to follow us on Patreon.com, please. That helps us. If y'all like what we're doing, please. Please, please sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash manschool202. Y'all want consultations? Hit us at uh, DanteNero.com. Click on consult. Harry, advice from Harry at gmail.com. Uh, also, please, if you can, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell. So anytime I go live or we post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Sexual Revolution being podcast. We out, man. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.